Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another weekly vlog. It is currently Thursday um, afternoon or Thursday evening actually. It's already after work and I'm about to change to go down and do a Peloton ride. But I wanted to start the vlog for you guys. One, because I'm in a cute fit. It's been cold all week this week and it's felt so nice outside. I actually went for the last couple hours of the workday and sat out by our like pool at the apartment complex and just had a really nice couple of hours in like the 60 degree weather and it felt so good. I'm wearing this um, short sleeve turtleneck <laughs> shirt that I got um, a couple weeks ago in a haul with you guys um, from Dillard's and it's my it's one of my favorites because it started off like 45 this morning and now it's up to 68. So I figured I'd wear something sleeveless in case it got hot. And then I've got on this really cute little um, American Eagle cardigan sweater and some black jeans. And I was wearing my little Uggs earlier today. I did a lot of errands, but um, nothing too crazy going on this weekend. I actually would like to spend a little bit of time like getting back into some of my old hobbies. I actually ordered an adult coloring book from Amazon that should be here tomorrow. So I'm excited to try and do some coloring with like some really fancy markers. So while well, I say fancy, I bought the cheapest pair that I could find on Amazon. And if I like the experience of coloring in a coloring book with these markers, then I'll buy some nice ones. But I figured I'd try it out and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, but yeah, I just want to have like a cozy weekend, stay in the house. Um, one of my friends is coming to Houston this weekend for a wedding. So we're going to meet up and have dinner. But besides that, we don't really have a lot of plans. So I'm looking forward to like a cozy reset kind of weekend. And last night, Ryan actually made gumbo for us and it's so good. I had some again for lunch and I'm going to eat it again for dinner. I don't even care that I'm eating it three times <laughs> in a row. Um, it was so good. So anyways, that's just like a little update for you guys. I'm going to go get dressed and ready to work out and I will see you all later. Hello guys. It is currently Saturday night. I just finished getting ready to head out to dinner with one of my friends from college. She's in town this weekend, so we're grabbing dinner. And I did actually have a little haul that came in today from Old Navy that I wanna show you guys. They were having the best sales for um, Halloween day. It was like, I think 30 or 35% off your entire order plus however much off of jackets and stuff. So I got some really cute stuff I'm gonna show you guys. There's one thing that's kind of disappointing though and I'll just tell you what it is, but let's see the little haul. Okay, honestly, this these like first three things could be an outfit by themselves, but the main thing that I had been wanting for the longest time since I guess last year when these became popular is like a big leather pleather puffer vest and cropped. So I did pick up one of those from Old Navy. It actually feels really good quality. It's very buttery soft. So I'm super surprised about the quality of this item because it is originally 80 bucks. Now the one that they sell at Abercrombie that this is definitely like modeled after, um, I believe it's like 180 or like at least 120. So 80 bucks is definitely better, but I got it on sale. I think jackets were all on sale anyways. And then I got it deeper discounted because 30% off. So I think it was like 50 bucks. So I got this beautiful pleather jacket for 50 bucks. It is really thick and it feels so nice and soft. So I picked this guy up. I'm so happy about it. And I picked it up in a medium. And then I also got this beautiful striped sweater, which I've been wanting a striped sweater. I love striped clothing in general. I've loved it ever since I was little. I've loved ever everything black and white stripes and everything black and white polka dots, but I picked up a little black and white sweater. I just thought it was adorable. Originally at $36.99, and I picked it up, I believe, for like $18 or $16 or something. I just thought it was cute. It's also a very like thin sweater, so it's nice for a Texas winters. <laughs> but yeah, picked that up, and then I got a new pair of jeans because I've been wearing the crap out of my old navy jeans. Let me show you. They're usually the ones on top right here, but these are my favorite jeans right now. I'm wearing them so much. They are the high rise OG loose with secret smooth pockets size six and they have little rips in the knees and they're just the most flattering 
jeans that I own. So I figured I would get a kind of normal wash in the OG straight high rise, but I got, um, or in the high rise, but I got straight jeans instead of loose jeans. So I'm hoping the six will still fit me the same, but I really like this color. I think it's perfect to wear with any kind of color top, this like nice denim blue. It's just like a basic denim blue. And these were, oh, they don't say, um, probably like 35 or something. They were also having a sale on their jeans. So I just wanted some skinny jeans because, or these are straight jeans, they're technically not skinny, but something that I could tuck into taller boots for the winter time. And I don't really own nice jeans in this kind of colorway. So this is like such a cute little outfit right here though. Okay. And then I got pajamas because they were also doing a huge sale on their pajamas. And this is like a little like stretch knit. I don't even know what to call this, but it's really a waffle knit. That's what it is. A waffle knit short sleeve PJ set. And it's a short sleeve shirt and shorts, which is perfect. I cannot wear long sleeves or pants to go to sleep no matter how cold it is. I just heat up so much. And I got these in a medium. And this is what the packaging says. I don't actually know what they were, but I know that this color is neutral fair isle. And I think they were like 15. And then this is the only disappointment. And I say that with a grain of salt because this was very cheap. But this is just a fleece jacket. I figured would be kind of like a Columbia dupe. Um, you know, these like simple fleece jackets that everybody has. It's a nice just like throw it over something if it's a little chilly out, you know. Um, but it's kind of tight. Um, I guess that's just because it's women's and it fits a little tighter. But you can see that it has like a curve down the center. So it's a little tight. And it's super, super thin. If you can see here how thin it is, you really can't tell, but it is so thin. This is not going to provide really any warmth for me, but I think I got it on sale for like 15 bucks and it's originally $29.99. So for 30 bucks, you can't really expect a lot, but this was kind of disappointing. So I don't know, just be mindful. I think their activewear collection is like definitely a hit or miss. I like some of their stuff and some of it is disappointing. So just be aware with Old Navy, you know, every now and then you get a couple duds, but I think the rest of this stuff was definitely not a dud. So I'm so excited about that. I'm actually going to try on these jeans because I think I want to wear them tonight out. So let me show you guys these on. So don't mind my outfit here. <laughs> Anyways, um, these are the jeans on. They fit pretty well. They're actually kind of loose, but I think after I wash them a few times, they won't be as loose, but just so you can see kind of like they bunch up right here, which is a little odd but they're actually almost too long for me. I'm 5'4", so I'm always in between regular and short sizes, so I just didn't get petite sizing on this, but I could always just roll it up like I did with this one. So I think they're still cute though. They're still flattering and yeah, they're very, very comfortable. And while we're here, I figured I'd show you the puffer. This is so cute on, can you imagine? <gasps> Look how cute, with like some cute like tall boots. Ugh. This is adorable. So definitely a steal for a big puffer jacket like this. This is so stylish and adorable and way better than spending 120 or more at Abercrombie. Sorry, I'm just not spending that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go and get dressed because we need to leave soon. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go get Italian tonight and it's gonna be super yummy. So let's go ahead and head on out. Thursday and I just got in the most exciting package ever so this actually came all the way from the UK from a brand called Waltz Waxes on Instagram I found her on Instagram because she's been doing beautiful Gilmore, Girl, Gilmore Girls wax melts and candles and she sells them through Etsy and I was able to pre-order these advent calendars from her i think i pre-ordered them at the beginning of october so i totally forgot about them i almost was like is this a wrong sender like i didn't mean to get this but no i did order this in october i had just forgotten about it and it just came in so i'm going to show you i'm so excited but she sent this wonderful little card that says thank you and i'm gonna open it up here with you oh my goodness okay I got two advent calendars and they are wax melt advent calendars. The first one, you could do a bundle or you could each order them separately. So this one is 
for Gilmore Girls. She created, I don't know how she made this. It's an advent calendar and you poke it open and it's one little wax melt every day. And she has all the different scents right here. One through 24. Oh my goodness. It does look like you could just open it up from the edge. And I think I am gonna do that just because I don't wanna like actually open up the days until it's Christmas, but I just wanna show you. <gasps> They're stars. So they are all little stars with their own little designs. Oh my God, I can't. I'm so excited. And here's a closer look at the little town map. We've got Stars Hollow, Team Jess, Dosie's Market, Stars Hollow Books, Team Logan, I Love the Car, I Love You. Sookie's house, the Dragonfly Inn. We've got the little horse-drawn carriage, Team Dean, Weston's Bakery, Kim's Antiques, and Luke's Diner with his little no cell phone sign. So cute. Oh, and Lorelai's house. So beautiful. A very Merry Christmas from Stars Hollow. She made all this herself. Like how amazing is this? And then she also makes Disney World themed candles and wax melts. So this one is a very Merry Christmas from the Magic. Oh, she could, probably couldn't put Magic Kingdom because copyright, but oh my God, this is so pretty. Here is the beautiful castle, the resorts, Animal Kingdom, Blizzard Beach, Hollywood Studios with Woody, Typhoon Lagoon, Disney Springs, Epcot. Oh my God, how beautiful is that? And this one's pink, which is just freaking adorable. I'm so happy. I think if I pre-ordered um, the set together, it was like 50 bucks, but she makes all of this in-house. I don't know how she possibly made this from scratch. Like, I have no idea, but here's a little size reference. Oh, and the list of scents. This is so beautiful. If you do collect wax and fragrances and stuff, check out Waltz Waxes on Etsy. She's so cool. All of her stuff sells out really quick, so I was really happy to get my hands on this one, but I just thought that was fun and I had to show you guys. It is currently um, Saturday, November 18th, and I'm about to go and hit up Bath & Body Works and I think TJ Maxx next door, we shall see. So come along with me, we're gonna do a little bit of shopping and then this week's vlog will also include Thanksgiving, so I hope you're excited. Here. I do have two coupons actually. I have a free item and I have a 25% off coupon. So I'm gonna go get some hand soaps, get a couple free items, and then we will go to TJ Maxx next door. Um, I need a few things for Christmas wise. I also need some skincare items. You can see my pimple patch on right now um, and some loofahs. So we'll see what we can find. I hope the line is not too long. It is like almost five o'clock on a Saturday. So I expect it's gonna be pretty busy. So let's go ahead and head inside. Just now realizing that I never filmed the haul for this, so the haul will be later on in the video, but for now, enjoy some Christmas tree vibes.
Hello guys, it is currently Tuesday afternoon, just finished up work and I've got a haul to share with you guys. So I did go to TJ Maxx and Bath and Body Works and I have some items for you. First off, I got a new gua sha from Amazon because I literally dropped mine into the sink. Like I was holding it over the sink, washing it and I dropped it three inches and it cracked in half in like five pieces actually. So that was really sad. So I got me a new gua sha. I like the uh, pink quartz ones, but I went to Bath and Body Works last weekend when they were having the 2.95 hand soap sale and I got some good stuff. I think I'm gonna do a full haul on these. So I'll just go through them kind of quickly, but I got the new bag. Look how cute this is. The new Bath and Body Works little reusable bag. I got the small one. There was a bigger version, but I got the small one for $1.95. I figured it was really cute and I always can use reusable bags. And then I got three free items because I had coupons. I got Jolly Gingerbread Village in the body lotion. Okay, I just turned on the ring light. It looks so much better. It smells really good. It smells more like ginger than it smells like gingerbread, like grated ginger, but it smells so good. So I got this one. And then with my free reward from the app, I got sugared snickerdoodle in the single wick, which I think is gonna be awesome in the mornings. And this is like a year round scent too. So I'm not mad if I don't finish it up in the winter time. And then I got this one in Twisted Peppermint because I was kind of craving getting a three wick in a peppermint scent, but I don't need to be spending that kind of money and I don't get through three wicks that fast. So I figured I'll do a single wick. It's just so yummy. I love Twisted Peppermint. So those are my little freebies. And then I got six hand soaps. So I got Winter Candy Apple in the like uh, embossed snowflake packaging, really pretty. I got Strawberry Snowflakes. This packaging is so pretty. I've actually never had it before, so I'm excited to try that. I also got Twisted Peppermint. I could not, this packaging of Twisted Peppermint is probably my favorite that they've done in a while. I just love the pretty pink peppermint pinwheels. <laughs> Look at that alliteration, so cute. And then I got Almond Blossom. This one's just gonna be good for year round. I wanted to pick up a couple year round ones too because my hand soap stash, I think I have like two left and they're both fall scents. So I just need to restock it. And the last two, I got Toasted Vanilla Chai because I have to get at least one of these every single year. And I'll probably pick up more at a semi-annual sale after Christmas because this is my favorite scent of all time in the hand soap. And then I got Wildberry and Ube. I'm excited to try this. I kind of just want to like test it out, but it smelled really good. And I, I love Ube flavored things anyways. So I figured this would be really cool. And the packaging is just so beautiful. Imagine this on the sink during springtime. So cute, this little lilac, oh, love it. And next I went to TJ Maxx. Now this is what I actually needed at TJ Maxx was some wrapping paper to wrap gifts with this year. So I got this like tree, it's a gold tree on just like plain brown paper. Um, this one was $3.99 and then I got this one to match it and it's just white and gold stripes, but this could also be a year round one. And I actually have a baby shower coming up that I got to wrap some gifts for, so I figured this was perfect. So this one was also $3.99, so picked up those two. This is so fun. I picked up this Brookstone Golden Hour Sunset Projection Lamp. You're kidding. It was only $6.99. It's really tiny. It's like this big. It's like six inches tall. It's really small. But I actually needed a light to put behind my desktop computer um, screen because when we're gaming at night or just doing anything that's dark outside, I don't really like to turn on the lights and if it's dark outside, the window's not gonna help. So this is like really nice to set the mood and just have like a really cozy night. It's so cute. So I really enjoy this. This was like a really good find, only seven bucks too. Okay, next thing that I actually needed was a pack of loofahs. I always get mine from um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. This was $5.99, so a little more than a dollar each. I think it's pretty good. I also needed a new Chi spray. I love the Chi Iron Guard spray for my heat protectant on my hair. So I got this one, which I think was like a, ooh, was like a summer special version called Chi Vibes Know-It-All multitasking hair protector. So it's also a heat protectant, but with more things in it. So I thought I'd try it out for $12.99. I only pick up Chi at TJ Maxx or Marshalls because it's too expensive to pick up at Ulta. It's just not. Okay, and that's everything that I needed. Now it's the stuff that I didn't need. I got a new pair of gloves, which I guess I kind of needed these, but not for a while. 
Um, we did actually book our trip to Canada to go skiing next year. So I figured I'd pick up a pair of gloves. I have, you know, like just regular kitty gloves you get like for a dollar in the dollar section at Target. Um, and I also have ski gloves, but I wanted something in between. These are like lined with some fuzzy inside and it says they're waterproof, windproof. Oh, sorry, water resistant, windproof. And they have the little tappies so you can use your phone, which I figured would be great. Um, it's just like a little more heavy duty without being a ski glove. So these were $14.99 from the brand Jerry. I picked up this PJ set. It's so cute, you guys. So this was $14.99 and it's just like this silk looking. It is just 100% polyester. At least it's recycled though, but it's a tank top and shorts and it's super lightweight and it feels really soft. So I figured this would be great for when it's summertime and it's super hot and I don't even want to wear anything to sleep. This is going to be really nice. So pick that up. I was also looking for stuff for my coffee bar. So I found these little um, sprinkles, basically the same sprinkles that they use on top of the sugar cookie latte at Starbucks. So this was $3.99. I just wanted to pick them up so I could do like recreations of Starbucks drinks for the winter time. So they're super cute. I did not need these. And the last thing that I picked up that I absolutely did not need, but it's so cute, is this little DIY crochet kit. And it's a llama. Look at his little puff of hair. That's so cute. Mine is not gonna look like that. It's really not. But this was $7.99 and it comes with all the stuff you need. It also comes with the tutorial. Um, so I'm excited to try it. Um, I've never tried crochet before. I taught myself how to sew when I was little, like six or seven years old from like a DIY book. I don't, I don't know. I like stole my mom's sew stuff, sewing stuff and taught myself how to snow, snow? Taught myself how to sew. I like read a magazine article that said you can make these like sock puppets and stuff them and like make like real sock puppet little ant stuffed animals. And I taught myself how to sew. So that was really cool. Um, but I haven't sewn since, well, I sewed then and then I sewed a little bit in high school. I was in like a home ec class, but that's about it. That's my experience. So I haven't done anything crafty in a long time. And I'm trying to actually like get back into my old hobbies that I had when I was a kid. Um, so I'm trying to get back into doing crafting stuff. I have a lot of ideas for things I'm gonna do this Christmas um, and include in like the vlogs for you guys. I'm gonna make these little cinnamon ornaments. So I hope you're excited to see some more crafty DIY things because I'm just like really feeling in the mood to craft, to make it feel like Christmas from when I was little doing a bunch of crafts at school. So anyways, picked up this little guy because I figured it'd be fun. I might not get to him for a while, but we'll see. Okay, last thing. Ah, look how cute this is. Is this tote bag. Now it's like a puffer jacket with some like black Sherpa lining. You can't really tell because it's all black, but yeah, it's a tote bag. It's pretty big. I just thought it was so cute. They had it in every color. They had it in um, white in like this like camel color. I would have gotten the camel one if it had white piping, but it was camel, camel piping. I don't know. That didn't feel luxurious to me. Um, and they had it in like a little mini bag, but I loved this tote bag. So I'm actually going to travel with it this weekend. I think it was like $24 on sale. It used to be 30. So I'm so excited. It's so cute. So anyways, I am finishing up packing because we are actually headed to Ryan's parents for the rest of the week. Um, we're going to work from home there tomorrow, Thanksgiving, staying the night Friday, leaving Saturday. So we're going to have a full weekend there. Should be fun. I'm expecting to do a whole lot of nothing, which is like so exciting. I love doing that. So I packed way too many clothes. Now I need to pack the rest of the stuff. Um, but yeah, I will let you guys go and we'll catch up later. last day of the month it's about to be December so I wanted to come on and close out this vlog I hope you enjoyed just like the entire month of November recap for you guys 
Um, I just really haven't had the time to edit and things like that. I've been exploring other hobbies, like I've been saying. Um, I've been doing a lot of playing Disney Dreamlight Valley and I did finish A Court of Thorns and Roses. So I actually bought the rest of the series on Black Friday and I will be reading them. So don't leave any spoilers, but I did love the first book. So it was really great. So I've just kind of been exploring other avenues and kind of just being really chill in November as far as the upload schedule and trying not to like stress myself out basically. So December will probably be much of the same, um, not like crazy upload schedule. I'm not gonna do Vlogmas this year, but I am gonna do it on TikTok. It's just so much easier to edit on TikTok. It's just on my phone. I don't have to upload anything to my laptop and stuff and I can do it on the go. Um, I do have a trip coming up with Ryan to New York. So that should be fun. So anyways, if you aren't following me on TikTok, you definitely should. It's at Hyatt's Vicky with a zero at the end, Hyatt's Vicky zero. And um, I'll keep you guys up to date with that. But that's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.